Hi, or a quick studio notes video today. I've uh, been really busy uh, this morning. I was uh, a guest on somebody else's podcast and then I had visitors here looking at paintings who can't make it for open studios. Just turn my kettle off because it's making a racket. And um, so I thought I'd give you a quick tour of open studios and then come back and tell you a cool story about what happened uh, on Sunday. So we're coming in through the garden into the house. And they have paintings in the hallway, in the living room, and in the kitchen for everybody to see. This is one of my late newest ones, named after a song most of you will know. Um, so I had a lovely painting on there which sold and I'm not too happy with that one there so I need to do some rearranging this evening before tomorrow. Um, have a buyer potentially for that one with another painting but he's gone to think about it so I don't know. Um, but in here so I have paper, pieces on paper for sale. Uh, I have little text around which I always like doing to explain what people are seeing. Um, I have a diptych up here and this one which is very recently finished um, in here and then on the fireplace it's a small one and some some more of the text which I actually have from my exhibition in Skipton. And then out here we usually have lighting up there to brighten it when people are here. Um, one of these sold so I put something in there in the gap. And then into the kitchen where I just have a few things and ignore the mess. This is Gordel Scar. Um, I have a small one on here but this one isn't varnished so I've just finished it and because I sold some pieces I wanted to add what I could in here to top up. I have an email sign up list that's always a good idea. Uh, I didn't remember to ask very many people to sign that. I put some sketchbooks up here so people have been really interested in these uh, so people have flicked through those. This is a catalogue of making a painting and explaining the different stages that the painting goes through. And this is the painting in question, which is a metre by a metre and just got finished in time for open studios. That one got a lot of attention this last weekend. Uh, no buyers as yet, but I'm hopeful this weekend. And then I have some more pieces on paper. I'm just working now on trying to top these up because I sold quite a few and uh, I don't really feel like I have enough. People like to have something less expensive when they're not intending to buy. I had quite a few people say, oh, I'll never buy anything, but I'm gonna take one of these. Uh, so I, I know some people don't like to do that, but I like doing that. And so that's it. That's your quick whistle stop tour of my open studio in the house at least. So now I'll show you in the studio. So in here I've managed to keep it relatively tidy. Got some play panels from last year's CVP up. I put some sketchbooks out for people to see. Um, and notes around here explaining what people are looking at. Cause I had people in the house and over here. I couldn't be with everybody. This text just explains these work in progress, what's happening, what I plan to do next, etc. Um, these are all in various stages. And then I have some small old pieces. These are just what left over from the old days. And uh, a gap there where I just sold one to somebody who came today rather than over the weekend. Um, and I just thought I have them lying around. I know some people don't like doing that, but I don't have any problem with showing old work. And some people will like, like it, as this person did. Um, oh, there's my price stick. <laughs> These are pieces that I'm working on at the moment. And some more old pieces there that are for sale. And 
here I have some older pieces for sale too. Um, just things that were left over from prior lives. And I put a little poster on there to explain it. And that's it. So uh, this is the cool thing that happened on Sunday. So many of you know that I, uh, I've mentioned before a, a local artist called Richard Snowden who was very well known in this area. Uh, who died a few years ago and whose paintings I own and many other people do and at these events he's often a topic of conversation uh, lots of his fans remember when he was in open studios his studio was always the busiest um, always the most full of life and fun if you haven't heard of him you can look him up and you'll find bits of him left online Richard Snowden very colorful naive style paintings just brilliant Anyway, a lady came to visit and she loved Richard and we started talking about his work and she told me that she has a living room full of his paintings which she bought over the years and she said, um, you know, no, no other paintings are allowed in the living room because that's Richard's room and we were joking about Richard's room. And then she purchased one of my paintings um, and she, I heard her discussing with the people she was with that she might where she was going to put it and um, anyway uh, they sent me photos and they had put it in Richard's room with his other paintings and this is like a young musician getting to play with Bruce Springsteen or this is what it feels like to me not that I'm young but you know what I mean I feel like this is a real milestone moment where uh, this person who admires an artist the artist who inspired me, the person who, when I went to his studio and gallery and saw what he was doing, I thought I could do this. He wasn't uh, involved in the art world, which to me seemed very intimidating or needing galleries. He was just doing this on his own terms and in a really cool way and in a very successful way. And he was such an inspiration to me. So for my painting to be hanging with his paintings is just super cool and um, I don't tell you this to boast though I don't think uh, my, maybe I do but I don't think I do I tell you this because six years ago when I first met Richard and went to his studio I could not have conceived of this moment and I don't think we ever can conceive of the things our art brings us and so I'm telling you the story just to, because I want you to see what's possible because I want you to see that things you cannot conceive of now are waiting for you. Um, all you have to do is put the work in to make your art and these things are possible. Um, and I hope there's lots more of these great moments to come for me and I hope there's lots more of them to come for you. So that's why I wanted to tell you that story. Anyway, I am now gonna go. I've got a couple of hours left of painting before I need to give it up go pick up my dog from daycare, spend some time with him and uh, get ready for tomorrow's opening when I hope we'll be as busy as we were last weekend. And I will probably be as tired as I was last weekend. Um, I hope you all have a fantastic weekend and a really creative week next week and I will see you around. Bye.